so now the gel has started to solidify and we have been waiting for around 20 minutes. It still needs some more time, but in the meantime, we can start the preparations for pipetting our samples into the gel and actually running the gel. So the first thing I need to do is to go and fetch my samples in the PCR machine. So now I have uh, fetched my samples right here. I also uh, did get the reagents that we need for loading the gel with our samples. And this consists of two compounds. One of the compounds, it's uh, something called a gel loading buffer. It's very like darkly purple blue-ish and this is uh, heavier than water and it also kind of binds to the solution. So it kind of pulls down the samples into the gel. So it's not going around in the machine. So that's a very important thing. The other thing is the ladder. And the ladder, it's a lot of DNA fragments that are 100 base pairs long. Uh, one is 100, 200, 300, 400, up to 1,000. And this is kind of our measuring device. So this is what we use to compare our samples with to get the proper length or to see the length of our samples. So this is also something that is needed. Uh, the next thing I need is parafilm, which is very, very useful for a lot of applications, including this. And this has uh, a paper surface and a blank surface. And we use the blank surface to actually pipette the solutions in small dots here that we also mix our samples with before we load it into the gel. So but before we do that, we can check if our gel is actually ready. Then I take a pipette tip and then I use not the pointy end of the pipette tip, but the blunt end of the pipette tip to check the gel. And now I feel that it's hard. It's not a, a lot of pressure that's needed, just a little bit. So that's good. Then I can open a take out the teeth from the mold. And we now have a very clear row of wells that we can put our samples in. Okay, so um, the thing that is a little bit important here is that you need to read on the instruction of the loading buffer to find the right concentration. This one here needs one microliter of loading buffer and six uh, to eight microliters of uh, DNA sample. But this is something you have to read upon when you do it yourself. So then I take a pipette tip, take a, uh, and take it to the highest amount, which is 10 microliter. And I open the cap. Suck up the solution, so it's, it's like this. And I make small droplets in a row. That is approximately one microliter. Like this. Bad and I close it. I also get uh, the trash for the pipette tips right there, get rid of that. And then I also add the ladder as well. And here also, this depends a little bit upon which ladder you use. Uh, this ladder here, you only need like around two microliters of it to get a good gel. Uh, but some ladders you need more and some even less. So this is something you need to read about. And the, all of this is available from your supervisors or in the Dropbox folder where all of this information is found. And I like to make this dot 
uh, a little bit further away, so I know it's the ladder right there. And the others are for the sample. So then this is done. I place it back in the box. And place the box right back here. Close this. Get rid of the teeth. And now I go to the uh, gel electrophoresis machine itself. Open the lid. And before you actually start doing something, you should actually read on the top here because uh, it has a limitation of use that it should be used only 10 times before you actually change the liquid inside. Uh, and this one has only been used three times because people write their dates. And I also need to write the date of use today as well. Uh, so this is fine to use. So I open the mold. Drag it a little bit slowly here and there. Open it. And don't pick it up like this. Take it out on the side. So now you have a very nice mold here. And then put it down in the machine. And you want, uh, this is also tar buffer that is in here. And you want it to cover up all the wells and cover up the gel. And then we also move it here. And here you need to be quite precise and also a little bit fast when you're working with this. So I open all my samples from the PCR machine. And it was one microliter of the loading buffer and uh, six microliter uh, of uh, the sample. So then I take a pipette tip, go down in the well, so I suck it up, go to um, the small dot with loading buffer and pipette it up and down around 10 times. So we get a bigger droplet, change tip, close the previous cap and take the next one and do exactly the same. And when you have done this a couple of times, uh, you get a very good system of how to do this. So I just used three samples here as an experiment or as an example. So the next thing is loading the samples into the gel. And here I like to, uh, or I prefer to take in the ladder first. So I suck it up like this. Find the well I want, place it in, change tip. Then I like to say that the first sample we had was the positive control. So I like to take the positive control first. Place it inside. Then I like to take the negative control second. Place it in the well, change tip. Then one of the real samples. Place it in. And then you fill all the wells you need. Okay, so now we have done with all of our sample. And we place on the lid. And then we need to turn on the device that actually gives the current that drags uh, the DNA fragments down to the gel. Uh, so here I push set enter and here we get the voltage. Uh, 100 volts is very nice. 400 uh, micro milliamps is also very sufficient and for 30 minutes. And then we push run. And what you will see here is now that you have bubbles uh, on the both of the sides where the electrodes are, and that means that it's running. And you can also come back maybe three or four minutes later 
and look into the gel. And then you will see also the bands with the loading buffer has moved into the gel. And this will uh, signal after 30 minutes that it's done. Okay, so now the gel has been running for half an hour and the machine has been beeping. So then we just press stop and click the switch so the current is off. Uh, before we take out the gel, we open the lid on the trans illuminator that actually supplies the UV light. Then we open the cap, uh, lift out the gel, and then I just tip it on the side so I get the extra moisture or uh, the liquid uh, away from it. Then. I move it here through the trans illuminator, slide it with my thumbs on the black screen, put on the lid, and then here uh, we use UV light. So it's very important that you protect yourself. The first line of protection is this plastic screen, uh, but also we add this black hood here as well. And we also use UV goggles as well. Uh, so then we turn it on and you get a nice sound and the UV light is on. So this is the opening you can see if you want, but I highly recommend instead just taking a picture uh, with your phone and you take it inside here and you just zoom in and you take a picture or pictures of the gel and then you can take them back to your computer and analyze them. So after that you turn it off, take away the cap, place it back inside, the goggles here, get the yellow trash bin just underneath here. Open up the lid, take out the gel, throw it away. And then you just take some uh, uh, paper and clean up the rest of the residue and then you're done.